Hi, welcome to Slideshow Blog, done by this guy. I'm so fat. Hello, blog number three. Guess this is a thing now, isn't it? It's a thing. So to repeated addicts, hi. If this is your first blog, hi, how are you? Take a sit down. It's just me talking with pictures. I don't know how you found me. Maybe it was on YouTube. Maybe it was through Twitter, at Slideshow Blog. Hopefully you'll enjoy this and join me on Twitter. The fun continues. Random stuff about dressing a dog up in a waffle suit, about HP sauce can only be served in glass bottles, Ray Mir in a zombie horror survival reality TV program, and uh, this picture. Yeah, look at that. That's celebrity fan Cara Steele with a horn on her head. Can someone, I need this explaining to me. Is this an actual film? If not, can we do this? Can this be a thing? Can I make this? Cara Steele, explain. And a big shout out to Katie, Joe, Repeat All and David for just inspiring some random nonsense. Okay, who to follow? Um, Forbes KB, what a name. As if you're not gonna follow that guy just for his name alone. He's an actor. He is in everything. Seriously, this is one of those guys you need to follow because he crops up in literally everything. Background in funerals, Harry Brown, yeah, you know, Michael Caine. Um, and look, that's him in the funeral scene in Sherlock Holmes. I watched that and I was like, oh, what's he doing there? That's him. Oh, and of course, that's him in Game of Thrones. You know, Game of Thrones, everyone goes nuts over. That's him in Game of Thrones, talking, doing stuff. Follow him. He's a really nice guy. Let's give him the push. He's also one of those actors that isn't, you know, like it's all a blessing and uh, I'm on a path. No, he does his acting and he's a trucker as well. He's just, I wish I was him. I really do. Plus he's big and Scottish. I think girls go nuts over that. Next up, Shivani Guy. If you don't know who she is, she's an EastEnders. Now, why am I telling you to follow an EastEnders actress? Well, first up, look at the picture. Okay, as much as my feedback is often from girls, the main demographic of this blog is a bit of a sausage fest, so that's, you know, I've got to play to the market. But also, she's possibly the best soap actress out there right now. I'm s serious, okay? Okay, let me explain the soap process. A team of stressed writers has to write about two and a half hours worth of programming a week. That's literally like writing Hobbit a week. Okay, and trust me, they are not writing anything near as fun as the Hobbit. There's no sword fighting or trolls or, well, maybe there are some trolls. That is then given over to a load of actors who then have to basically perform it. And everyone gives soap actors a bad time because they have to perform this, okay? But what are they performing? They're performing normal stuff. And you know what? For the most part, they all do it okay. Now, here is this lady coming in and she has to be sexy in a soap. At 7.30 in the early evening, that's really difficult. But she manages to do it with like a little glance, a little pout of the lips. Name me another person in any of the soaps who is in there and is sexy, hmm? Exactly. And this guy who has to act opposite her whilst she is seducing him is the luckiest guy in the world. Let's give her the support to give her the step up and get her out of soaps very, very quickly and into other stuff before this happens to her. I never imagined the feedback would be as extensive as this is, but I get tons of emails and whatnot a week. One person has written, what does Mitzi eat? No, I'm not going down that road. I'm not gonna get into what Mitzi eats with you. This blog is about me, not about the... My friend Georgia, that's her there, looking hot, has ranked this on the gayometer as older men wearing skinny jeans, which I think you'll agree is pretty gay. And whilst we're on the subject, congratulations to all the gay people in the UK who have now been allowed by the government to call their marriages, marriages. Now, am I the only person who thinks that this is wrong? 
No, 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 don't worry. I'm not going down the gay road. I'm going down the marriage road. Why does anyone want to get married? Why? It seems like a good idea when you first get married, but then when you're 50, are there any 50-year-old people who are married who are happy? And I don't want that for gay people. No one wants to see a miserable gay. Although I've never seen an old lesbian cry. Well, I've seen a horse fly. Dragonfly. <laughs> I see the house fly. You're now all going, what about you and Gemma? Well, all right, how's about this? What if she turns evil? Okay, what if she is involved in a freak accident, she becomes part cyborg, and she then starts taking over the world with like a giant death laser? Okay, I have to stay with her because I've signed a contract. No, it's not going to happen. Although saying that, she does come from good stock. That's a picture of her mum when her mum was younger, so, you know... You might have noticed that's her mum with a dog. Yes, that is another poodle, which is called Mitzi. Yes, it's called Mitzi. It's a thing. Basically, there have been four Mitzis. Mitzi 1, and that one there. Mitzi 2, which was there when Jen was younger. Mitzi 3, okay, and that's the one that I knew. That one used to hate me, though. That one used to be like, you're not my real dad. Uh, she even snubbed me on her deathbed. I looked into her eyes as she was about to be put down and I said, I love you. And she just avoided my eye contact. Okay, those pictures aren't actually on her deathbed though. That would be weird. And then Mitzi 4 came into our lives and I love her to pieces. She's amazing. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Who, who'd like that? I love her the most anyone has loved anything well actually to be fair she loves cheese the most so oh there you go she likes eating cheese so tune in next week crazy competition win a holiday to cyprus for reals oh and what to watch go watch archie it's amazing go now oh my god you killed a hooker call girls no, she was a, Cyril, a call when they're dead they're just hookers <laughs>